In this video we're going to look at what an allotrope is and specifically at the allotropes of carbon. So let's start by recalling some things about carbon. Uh, we know that it's in uh, group number four on the periodic table which means that it has four valence electrons. It's got six electrons overall. Uh, it's got intermediate electronegativity which means it forms covalent bonds and because it's got four valence electrons it generally forms four covalent bonds. Now since like charges repel electrons in neighboring bonds in a molecule like to be as far away from each other as possible so molecules arrange themselves so that their bonds are positioned as far apart as possible. Uh, but for the case of carbon with four bonds the way to arrange four bonds so that they are as far apart as possible is to put them in a tetrahedron. The simplest example of this structure is the methane molecule, one carbon bonded to four hydrogens arranged in a tetrahedron. This ball and stick model here shows you the 3D arrangement of the bonds more clearly. However, another way for carbon to distribute its four electrons is to form two single bonds and one double bond. For instance, in the compound ethene with two carbons and four hydrogens, the two carbons are joined by a double bond and each is then bonded to two extra hydrogens to make up its total of four bonds. In this configuration, with bonds to three different atoms, the best way for the bonds to be arranged is in a flat 2D arrangement called trigonal planar. You can see that each carbon is arranged in a sort of a triangular uh, arrangement and it's also two-dimensional, so planar. And there's 120 degrees between the bonds. Uh, so this is what happens here in ethene with each carbon atom having a trigonal planar arrangement. So if we compare these two, meth methane and ethene, you can see that carbon is able to form at least two different bond arrangements. And what's the significance of that? Well, methane and ethene are two different compounds. They're made up of more than one element and they have different numbers of atoms making up their molecules. But what if we only use carbon atoms? Can we get different bonding then? 